Hello there and welcome to my garden shed come office in the east coast of Australia and if you hear any kids voices in the background that's because it's currently school holidays and I've got everyone at home so sorry about that but if you, I can just hold your attention for the next three to five minutes I promise you I'm going to show you something really impressive something that I've just been using today um, on the screen here you should be able to see uh, some images that I took of a pool area for a friend and as you can see the images are alright but the sky in particular bothers me because there's nothing going on there's no cloud detail in the sky it was just one of those days that was just really dreary and it just makes the whole mood of the photo look very dull and a bit cold as well so what I've done is brought all of these images into Luminar AI and I'm going to take advantage of the sky insertion feature the sky replacement feature so what I did when I about five minutes ago when this um, when I was actually trying out this software with these photos I just clicked on the first one and it's taking what's that like two seconds and it added this sky image and I didn't even bother clicking around because I just thought wow that actually looks super realistic um, so if you just do a quick before after just to see what's happened here other than adding the sky it's also whoops let me get rid of that that's to remind me to take a break and stretch every few minutes but it's also added in coloring to the scene so it, it's taken into account the fact that if the sky is bluer then obviously this the scene would be slightly bluer um, and it's not that apparent in this one I'll show you in some other pictures but it's actually added to the reflection into the water as well so before we go on to that I'll show you a cool way of adding that sky to all of these images so if we just go back to the first sky and do I'm on a Mac so it's command C but you do control C uh, which is the copy command obviously and then go across all of the other images by holding shift down and clicking the right arrow or just selecting them with your mouse and now if I hit command V this is where it's amazing it's already applied the sky to each image but kind of tailored it specific to the image so you can see on what's going on here is it still loading there we go um, on this one the sky position and the color is slightly different to this one so it kind of takes into account which direction I guess you're facing or just what's happening in the scene um, so if we just quickly cycle through these apologies for the quality and the fact that it's reloading it wouldn't do this normally it's just because I'm using a film re uh, video recording software to show you this um, normally it would just apply the skies but what I'm trying to say here is each sky is different uh, based on the scene so yeah I found that pretty amazing that I could just do that in one click and it immediately makes the picture look a lot better now on some of them I just thought okay this something's a little bit unusual about this photo I think it's the clouds that are a bit too low so if you see on the right hand side there are all these options that you can start tweaking one of them is called vertical position and if you drag that it's kind of like playing god you <laughs> you can move the clouds in the sky to somewhere where you think it looks a bit more realistic and everything scales proportionally which is incredible um, I won't go into the other ones here there's tons of other options but I just stop when I think things look realistic and then if we do a before after here I'll show you what I was talking about um, before with the reflection of the sky in the water uh, in the pool here uh, perhaps it's more apparent if we look at one of these pictures so wait for it to load a second and where's my sky gone there we go so if you look at the water in particular and I do before after you can see that there's um, reflections appearing in the actual water of the sky that we've included here's a better example there we go before after so look at the water you can see around here there's clouds and the blueness of the skies there whereas in the before um, there's nothing so yeah that's pretty incredible it's adding in the reflection uh, as well as relighting the scene so I was about to send these over to my friend and say look at this um, what do you think I've added in the new sky uh, and then I thought all right let's see how far we can push this software so there's loads of different skies as I said before I just chose the first one but I wanted to get something like really dramatic that she could use perhaps on social media so I went down to here sunset clouds and this first one this is actually very similar to how we have sunsets here on the east coast of um, Australia there's this kind of purpley sky I think it looks great but occasionally we're treated to this crazy kind of sunset like this um, that doesn't like these people who live here wouldn't think wow that's ridiculous it never looks like that um, so I added that in like just with one click 
And then I thought, okay, well, I'll just copy those and then add them into the other pictures with the pasting command. And let's just see how the software goes. So I'll just cycle through so you can have a look. Um, all right, so this first one here, you can see when it finally finishes processing. There we go. Um, again, it's a bit too low the sky is for me, so I just fiddled with the vertical position. Let's bring it further up until it looks realistic. Yep, that looks good to me. <laughs> it is literally like playing God. I love this, it's so much fun. Um, so let me get to a photo where there is a bit of, there we go. That's This is a good one to illustrate what I was talking about the, before with the reflection. So I'm just gonna alter the vertical position a little bit here to make it look better, there we go. And as I'm doing that, you can probably already see there's some reflection going on in the, in the water. I'll just do a quick before and after. Uh, there we go. So you just do it to taste really what you think looks realistic. Some of you might th might not think this looks realistic. Personally, I do actually think that this looks realistic because I know that in these parts we do have these crazy sunsets that are beautiful like this. You can do things like change the opacity of the sunset, change this, basically change the strength of the effect. Um, if you don't like it, you can ease back on it. Um, do whatever you want. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this because like I said, I did this 10 minutes ago just to deliver all these photos to my friend and I was just so amazed that I just thought I'd make this quick video and just show you what this Luminar AI is capable of. I'm putting together a review, a full review, which talks about every single one of the features. This is just one of, I'd say, 10 or so of these incredibly powerful features that are just so crazy easy to use. You just click a button. Um, but yeah, today I just wanted to show you the sky replacement tool and how I've used it. Um, I imagine that if you're going on holiday or going to a you know, famous sightseeing spot, you're taking a picture of the Eiffel Tower and it's this horrible overcast day, you can change the sky. You know, these kind of shots that you can't take again. This one in particular, I couldn't go to this um, venue again. Um, so it was important to me that I delivered a photo with a good sky in it. So there you go. I've been talking to the guys at Skylem and they gave us a discount a few months ago that was $10, but now I've twisted their arm. They've given us a $15 discount on what is already a affordable and affordable software. So if you want to grab it, click on the link below and don't forget to use the coupon code code SHOTKIT15 to get that $15 discount. Uh, I will say that I do get a very small commission if you use that discount code, so it really helps me in producing content like this and all the stuff on SHOTKIT. I'm not sponsored by Skylim, so I'm free to say whatever I want about their software. I'll tell you if it sucked, but it doesn't. It's actually really amazing, and this is why. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, and I will chat to you soon.